The U.S.-China trade conflict and the Bank of China's decision to weaken the yuan come under the spotlight. The U.S. dollar remains under pressure while the demand for safe haven assets is growing. The People's Bank of China continues to weaken its national currency despite the U.S. protests. On Friday, the regulator set the reference rate of the yuan at 7.0136 against the greenback. The indicator is lower than yesterday's value but higher than the forecast of experts. Amid this news, market participants expressed a hope that Beijing will not use the currency as a weapon in the trade war. At the Asian session, the U.S. dollar index declined slightly, trading at 97.57. The U.S. currency was dragged down by Trump's comments. He once again made it clear that he was not happy with a strong U.S. dollar and urged the Fed to lower the key rate in September. Meanwhile, the demand for safe haven assets is high. Traders actively purchase gold and the yen. Thus, the dollar yen pair is trading in the red zone at 105.93. The Japanese currency was supported by upbeat economic data. In the second quarter, Japan's GDP exceeded the market forecast. On Friday, the Australian versus the US dollar pair gained ground, moving above the 0.68-116 level. Nevertheless, the pair may decrease in the future despite its corrective growth. The head of the Reserve Bank of Australia confirmed once again that the stance on monetary policy would remain dovish. The regulator may cut its key rate again if unemployment rises and inflation stays weak. Nevertheless, Philip Lowe reassured traders of the Australian dollar that the regulator would not unexpectedly reduce the interest rate as it was in New Zealand. The RBA will stick to a gradual policy easing. And that is all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.